watching the Ghost to Eleven Crap Club. Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog. Here we are in Port Moody. And right here we have Derek and we have Kevin. And guys, would you mind explaining a little bit of what you guys do here? And sure, yeah. Um, so I'm the head sales rep with uh, Yellow Dog, uh, which means I go into restaurants and liquor stores around the city and uh, try and uh, expand our uh, company and uh, get people excited and uh, interested in our brewery and the beers that we're producing. And uh, yeah, my name's Kevin, I'm the lead brewer here at Yellow Dog, so um, I'm kind of a liaison between the production side of the brewery uh, and dealing with our brewmaster, Liam Murphy, um, so dealing with making sure our production's on schedule, things like that, uh, tasting notes, sensory, a little bit of barrel program stuff, um, yeah, a little bit of jack of all trades, so. Nicely cool. done. All right, guys, so here we are with a nice and beautiful beer here, and can you tell us a little bit about this? Sure, so we got uh, nine of our kind of core beers here on tap, uh, so we'll get you guys to try a little bit of each one. I'll give you some tasting notes kind of on uh, what everything's going to taste like, what you're kind of expecting from what you're drinking, and uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. So what do we have here? So first we have a Play Dead IPA, so it's a Northwest American IPA. Uh, a little bit of caramel notes, but mostly kind of like juicy hot forward. So pineapple, mangoes, papayas, things like that. So okay. one of our earliest brews. Sorry, one of our earliest brews. Yeah, that was one of the three uh, original brews we had at Yellow Dogs. So that was five years ago. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And secondly, we have our High Five Hazy IPA. So New England IPAs are kind of a new style of IPAs. So you'll notice it's a lot less clear than the other one. Mm -hmm. Turbid, um, more juicy, less bitter. So you're going to get less of that bitterness note and more of that like fruit forward. And that comes from adding the hops later on in the brew. So you're not getting as much bitterness, but you're getting more aroma, more flavor. That's awesome. I really like that one. Cool. And I know that's one of your favorites from what we were yeah, talking exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. Right on. I'm a sucker for IPAs. So, so next we got our Chase My Tail Pale Ale. So this is an American style pale ale uh, along the sides of you know Sierra Nevada, things like that. So you're going to get a lot more piney notes like that, a little less bitter than the IPA, a little lower alcohol than the IPA, but a very <laughs> sessionable, quaffable, uh, and still really hot forward uh, beer. It's kind of what we do around here. I believe that was the nice. very first brew. That, that was the first. So oh, really? Our first, uh, yeah, um, Canadian Brewers uh, Festival we had there. We were doing, that was in our, our pilot batch. That was our kind of our inaugural beer. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, so right here, check the color here. The Retriever Golden Ale. So this is a little bit of a, a closer to a... Um, Closer to a lager in that sense. It's fermented with an ale yeast, but uh, a little bit cleaner. Uh, so a little less of that fruit flavor and a little more of that crisp, dry mm -hmm. finish. Refreshing, kind of a patio drink. Uh, yeah, so probably bigger. Oh, man. <laughs> Super light. So far. Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. <laughs> That's the whole I'm going to get into that. Awesome. Right on. So this is our Squirrel Chaser Pale Ale. So this is a, a Northwest, or sorry, um, a New England Pale Ale. Okay. So along the lines of the Hazy IPA, we have a, kind of a sessional Hazy Pale Ale. Sort of okay. just like same kind of flavors, but a little yeah. dialed back. Very approachable, super refreshing in the summer. Awesome. Another good patio drink. That's Another good. patio. So what's good here anyway, so. Yeah, for sure. Ginger lime goza, so this is a little bit of a different take on a, a German style of goza. So it's a, a salted uh, with also like coriander, things like that. Um, so it's a salted sour ale. And we pitch fresh lime and uh, and ginger into it as well. So, so good. So good. It's got that herbaceous so quality, but it's also, yeah, super refreshing. Again, on a summer day. Yeah, right? kind of like a margarita in a can. Uh-huh, 100 friends. Yep. Happy hour in a glass. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, coming out of the final three, we got our uh, India Session Belgian Ale. It's kind of a mix of things between a Belgian beer, where you have that really like fruity, phenolic kind of note to it, uh, but also very low alcohol, uh, very easy to drink, uh, but you get that, that kind of plum kind of note out of it. So. Kind of an homage to uh, Belgian beers with Northwest hops as well. Yeah. 
That's beautiful. Speaking of Belgian beers, yeah. uh -huh. this is our take off whip. So this is a Belgian whip beer style. Uh, it's brewed with coriander and uh, bitter orange peel. Oh, a cloudy okay. wheat beer. So it's actually brewed with a, a majority of uh, wheat malt. So instead of using barley like we normally do for our beers, we use wheat uh, so to get that cloudy different kind of character out of it. Oh man, how's that one for you? That's amazing. <laughs> So far, you guys, I'm just. I'm in one, heaven right now. You have no idea. Like this is, this is more than off camera. Me. You're gonna have to finish all of these. <laughs> yeah. So last one, not, not exactly a summer beer, but this is a, a smoke porter. We get a lot of guys that ask for this year round. It's one of those things you either love it or hate it. But uh, for me, that's one of my favorite beers, and uh, you get that old English character from English okay. yeast. Uh, we use smoke malt, so beach with smoke malt, yeah. and uh, really dark, really viscous kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, great little flavor there. And it's not overpowering the smokiness out of it anyways, right? Yeah, it's, sure. very, it's very light. Contributes to the beer, really. yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. So those are kind of our core beers that we can all the time. I got nothing else. It just, it's just been awesome. Awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you guys very much for having us here. Anytime. It's been an awesome time. Thanks for letting us try everything. Things there. Thank you, Kevin. Everybody. So we finally had a chance to try everything out, as you saw. And uh, so my decision, I mean, I've just always been a, a big fan of the IPA, so I'm gonna have to do for my top three. I like the IPAs on top of that. For the summertime, I really, really like that ginger lime one. Uh, but honestly, you need to just come out here and just try them out. Because honestly, each one of them is so unique, it's so different. And uh, it's just extremely tasty, extremely tasty. So come and check them out. And uh, once again, Yellow Dog, Port Moody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and reminder so you can get future videos. Hope you enjoy, we'll see you next time.